All right. So here we are in the, in the I guess, the Dan Potash area of the, <laughs> the Robinson Mall. Uh, the old two-niner and Mike Lang, Hall of Famer. How are you guys? Fantastic. Good to be here. <laughs> Terrific. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So, uh, you know, this is where Potash sort of always asks the players, you know, good inside information. So this is a signing here at Total Sports Enterprises here at Robinson Mall. So what kind of, what's your plan of action here in the in the first period to go out and do the signing, Borky? Well, this isn't the first time we've been here. We love coming here. Uh, we're Number one, we're treated so well, first and foremost, but uh, it's always a good turnout. Uh, and it's, it doesn't matter uh, where it is in Pittsburgh, especially here, but any interaction with the fans, it's always great, the appreciation, uh, and it's usually just a good time. I love the fact that when you were face, they handed you the microphones and then they told you to hand the microphones over us. You're like, wait, aren't we the experts? Uh, <laughs> it's not your first time doing this, but we, uh, I don't know why they give it to us today. We're just here to sign autographs with you guys. We're going to run all the helmets we can if we can. Well, we're going to have fun. And uh, uh, one thing I do, I bring a uh, rusty razor to shave some people off. <laughs> <laughs> and I have a hacksaw if they get out of line. And just a couple of other things that if I need to use them, I will. If I had done that, I wouldn't have cut my hair this afternoon. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> there, you there you go. So, Mike, and just for the folks out there watching the Total Sports Enter Enterprises uh, Facebook page, what's the background behind Michael Michael Motorcycle? Well, the background behind that phrase is uh, there was a, a gentleman who worked in a car dealership in Dormont who uh, worked in the accounting department, and he was from Texas, and he had uh, just gotten a job. And he came into the same restaurant where I would go a lot to uh, have my lunch, and he was leaving to go back to work, and as he walked out the door, he was a big six foot four, about 210, and he says in these exact words, I'll see you later, Michael, Michael, motorcycle. <laughs> and I say, can you say that again for me? He says, I'll see you later, Michael, Michael, motorcycle. I went, yes, thank you. <laughs> there you go. Oh, that's awesome. Now, Porky, yeah. our 60-minute type question for you is, you know, what's the, what's the urban legend of the uh, Stanley Cup in the bottom of the pool? Yeah, that one uh, I never get tired of talking about. That, uh, it's true, I'm guilty. That I'm the one that threw it in Mario's pool. Um, simple story, Mario had a beautiful house in Mount Lebanon. He had a tiered waterfall and the cup was up in the waterfall that flowed into his, his swimming pool. And I just didn't think the party was, uh, was raucous enough uh, for a Stanley Cup party. So I got up in the waterfall and uh, grabbed the Stanley Cup and threw it in the deep end. Um, and everybody started diving in, shirts were coming off, and, and people were having fun. What I didn't realize was silver and chlorine don't mix very well. And number two, the cup is hollow, and I threw it in the deep end, so it was like a 500-pound a rock, but everybody started jumping in. We had a good time. There you you know, go. Phil Pritchard told us that that was the last time the cup traveled without a guy, <laughs> without, without someone to watch over it. So, yeah. you're a lucky guy. Well, listen, good luck in your signing tonight. The hand massagers are out there. Yes. Rub your fingers. Yes, you know, we love the hand massagers. Yeah. Thanks so much for joining us. Yeah, thanks for joining us.